So now we came to know how this stored excesses thing works on the low level. Now we'll perform the same thing on a medium level and try to find out whether it's working or not. So go to medium and submit. Now go back to excesses stored and again you see whenever you go back to excesses stored that thing pops up. This will keep on happening until you uh, clear the database. Okay. So now we'll see medium level. Again we will try to put in some scripts over here. It's not working. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me go to this reset database and now go back to your access is stored. Okay. Let's try this. It's not working. It's not working as you can see. Alert is now not working. So what is happening over here? Kindly have a look. What is happening? Exactly, the slashes have been added and whenever the uh, code encounters a double quotation mark, it places a slash in front of it. That is something new, that is something unique because we haven't seen such a behavior from the uh, source code as of now. So let's try to go through the source code and understand what is happening. See that. So first of all, it is replacing the script tag over here sanitize the inputs so message and name there are two uh, text boxes in front of us name is also doing the same thing it is replacing the script with a space and the name is then passed on to the uh, further processing but over here also in message message is having a even more difficult thing to bypass exactly it is having an even more difficult thing that is html special characters so using this it becomes really difficult for us now because anything you enter it will be obviously detected as an html statement and it will block it over there so we won't be able to bypass this message so how to bypass it then and one more thing again yeah it is adding that slashes so even if we try to use any other html statement it won't work that is very well crafted uh, what you can say it is a very well crafted uh, statement very well crafted code so you won't be able to bypass it very easily but can you find out a vulnerability in this we can still crack into it or move into it how but on which particular uh, text box name or message see the source code by right clicking on it and go to inspect element okay see the maximum length is 10 that is why I am not in a position to enter anything can I bypass it? Can I do something? Either you comment it out or I had something in my mind. Let me show that. For example, we can go over here and maximum length of 10 can be replaced by 100. This is what I had in mind. Now let's try whether it's working or not. Yes, it's working. Done. Uh, we have still many topics left and many more interesting topics left. So uh, let's stay focused and complete those topics.